If you are interested in becoming a physician assistant, one of the best ways to learn about the roles and responsibilities of a PA is through clinical shadowing. We're going to take you through everything you need to know about shadowing as a pre-PA student. You probably already know that there are several requirements that PA programs ask their applicants to fulfill. Shadowing is an essential step in your journey. We know a lot about this because that's what we do at Global Premeds. We provide doctor shadowing and global health opportunities for students who are interested in healthcare, whether that be physician assistant, nursing, midwifery, or doctor. So, what are the shadowing requirements for PA school? While each physician assistant program is unique, most of them recommend or even require students to have a certain number of shadowing hours. This is to ensure that you understand what kind of work and lifestyle you are committing to. Observing a day in the life of a physician assistant can help you decide if PA school is right for you. You want to be able to explain why becoming a physician assistant is the right path for you instead of, say, doctor or nurse. According to the Physician Assistant Education Association report from 2019 to 2020, students who were accepted into PA school had an average of 94 hours of healthcare shadowing. But what counts as shadowing hours for PA school? Opportunities to observe a physician assistant or other medical professionals can count towards your healthcare experience hours. For most programs, your clinical experience should include general healthcare experience, like shadowing a doctor, and direct patient care experience, where you are responsible for treatment, diagnosis, and overall patient care. Shadowing is not so much a hands-on experience as much as it is an observational one. You should always check with the specific program that you are applying to and review their requirements. Often they recommend that you specifically shadow a physician assistant for a certain amount of hours, but it is also greatly beneficial to shadow other healthcare professionals and learn about what their jobs entail. You want to make sure that you get a well-rounded experience. So look for opportunities to shadow within your specialty, but also use this as a learning opportunity to explore other paths. Physician assistants are in almost every single medical specialty. So who knows, maybe something else will catch your eye. How to find a physician assistant to shadow. Although the physician assistant field is growing, it's not always easy to find a PA to shadow. Your best course of action is to use any of your personal connections first. Ask your doctor or a family friend that's in the healthcare field. Perhaps they can connect you with a physician assistant that they know. If that doesn't work, you can start cold calling hospitals and clinics in your area. Maybe do some research and look online for any physician assistants that are listed near you. If you can't find a PA, start shadowing a doctor or another healthcare professional and perhaps you can make some more connections that way. No matter who you ask, be prepared to be flexible and work around their schedules. How to add shadowing hours to your application. When you do find an opportunity to shadow at a hospital, make sure you bring a notebook and a pen with you to record all of your hours and any interesting medical cases that you observe. You'll want to add shadowing hours to your application as healthcare experience hours rather than patient care hours as designated on the CASPA online application. Use this opportunity to build connections within the healthcare field. The doctor or PA that you shadow can serve as a reference and write letters of recommendation for your future. We hope we've helped you understand a little bit more about what it means to shadow as a pre-PA student. If you have any questions or want to get 40 hours of shadowing on the front lines of an international hospital, go to our website, globalpremeds.com.